Earth, I want to know all your secrets. I already know the secrets of Jupiter, Neptune, and Mars, and now I want to know yours. I'm not telling anyone. Hmm, like what secrets? Well, any secret. For example, Jupiter told me that there's a red spot on it. In fact, that's not a pimple as I thought all my life, but the strongest storm that can be seen even on Jupiter. The largest planet in the solar system. Uh-huh. So you're saying you're not telling anyone? Well, yes. By the way, do you want to know the secret of Neptune? Sure. Well, he's insanely sinky, and he's fully aware of it. He's so embarrassed about it, but when he interacts with other planets, he pretends he doesn't smell. But he told me his secret. I overheard your conversation, Saturn. Didn't expect that from you. If you say anything what I told you, you're in for it. Yeah, uh, I guess I won't talk about him. So, Earth, will you tell me? You want to know the secret of the universe? Of course I want to! So we're actually inside the universe. It doesn't tell us about it, but we're all inside it. What? No way. Actually, it's true. What the... <laughs> Holy! Hello, Pluto. Hey. Huh? You're gonna silent. Yeah, just contemplating, you know. We are not eternal. Nothing is eternal. Death awaits us. Oh. Everything is so impermanent. I'd like to live forever with my friends. Well, living forever is impossible, of course. But in the universe, there are almost eternal beings. Black holes. Wow, really? Yep. They live so long that they'll only die when all the stars in the galaxy burn out. Cool! Then I'll become a black hole. <laughs> That's impossible. It requires incredible pressure combined with a massive amount of matter. And even with such factors, it's not certain that... Oh, I did it! How? I strained. That's anti-science! Some nonsense! You can't just train and... Uh, what I'm saying... Here, look! <laughs> Are you serious? Are you competing without me? I'll excel all of you! No, wait! <laughs> Are you guys hungry or is it just me? Shut up! I'm so hungry! Hello, guys! You look kinda strange. You look creative. Your eyes seem so darkened. Uh, hungry, angry, staring at me! Get off, Milky! Come on, anyway, you know I'll catch you. I don't want to collide with you! Be careful over there. There's a supermassive black hole! Huh? Where? Damn, you played me like a fiddle! <laughs> wow! It's kinda windy today! What the is going on here? <laughs> Apocalypse! Everyone, calm down! Nothing unusual! Just Andromeda finally bumped into the Milky Way. Nothing unusual! This is a galactic scale astonishment! It's the end for all of us! There is nothing of the sort. They'll just merge and become a new spherical shaped galaxy. The chance of something catastrophic happening is astronomically low. See? Is that a very incredibly unlikely event? Oh darn! <sighs> Alright, it was nice knowing all of you. I love and forgive you all. Wait, wait, wait! What is happening? With a one in a billion chance when two black holes collide in the centers of galaxies, a so-called pulsar can form. It's like a black hole the size of a planet, but both galaxies are compressed in it. Can you imagine the density? So what? Aren't there many black holes in space? But the pulsar not only devours, but also emits light. It's the brightest of all existing stars. And right now all that energy is going to roast us. So we should panic? You can. The death ray doesn't care. <coughs> what a hear fun fact. Some believe that life on me began right after I got bathed in the pulsar's light. The beginning and the end. Why are you so calm? 
What does it matter? We'll all come back in the next episode as if nothing happened. Guys, Earth has completely lost it from fear. Apocalypse! Well, that's how it is. I often think about questions like these. Cool. Why are you so smart? <laughs> Earth, what's going on? I can't react that fast and figure out what it is. Oh, holy shit. Get yourself together. They're filming us. Damn, what the hell is that? It burns really bad. <laughs> okay, I hope it will be all right. Let's go see what it is. <laughs> Son, what the hell was that? Why did a drop of lava fly into the moon? Oh, I didn't want anyone to see me, the most beautiful star, in such condition. But since you've seen me, I have to tell you everything. Go on, I really hope you will justify yourself. I don't know what it is, but throughout my life, sometimes some toxins come out of me. I feel as if I'm gonna vomit. But this nausea every time is different. Sometimes it's rays or splashes of lava. I do not know what else I can say, but please don't tell anyone. Hmm, so... What could it be? I've heard about it, but I can't really remember. Ha! Ah, solar storms! Yeah, solar storms! I've never seen it happen, but frankly, I'd rather not. Yeah, I wish I hadn't seen it too. And better yet, I wish I hadn't felt it! Earth, if you know what it is, can you tell me? To be honest, I haven't studied this subject very well, but I can tell you some basic things. I'd really like to hear them. Then listen! Most planets, and particularly me, have such a thing as a magnetic field. I don't want to tell you in detail what it is. Because, Moon, you're too dumb for this topic. Screw you, tell me more! But Sun also has such a thing as plasma. It creates magnetic fields when it's moving, and this magnetic field forms some kind of particle flow. This magnetic field stores a huge amount of energy. Oh my god! That's enough. I don't understand anything! Straight to the point. What the hell flew in on me? And where did it come from? Well... Okay, Sun's particle flow isn't always stable, unlike mine. Instead of this, it has something like this. Because of it, the Sun has knots that get bigger and bigger over time, like pimples on teenagers' faces. <laughs> it sounds like a disease. And then they burst and eject plasma and harmful substances into the solar system. That's what flew in you, Moon. Here we go, Sun. <sighs> what a naughty star. Guys, I think it's happening again. What? <laughs> We've done it with dogs, now it's time to send a man into space. The calculations are correct, let's build a rocket. Three. For watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, there's a new video.